guys, I hope you're well and having a really good day. So today is Wednesday, the 13th I want to say of May and I was going to do a weekly vlog this week but it's Wednesday and I hadn't vlogged because I forgot. So I'll fill you in on the week. Monday I had a driving lesson, did some food shopping, that was it really, didn't do much, did a lot of vlogging work on YouTube. Yesterday I did a big food shop for my nan and cleaned the house, did more vlogging and YouTube work and then I went out for a really lovely dinner with two of my friends, Sophie, who if you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while you would have seen her last year because we went to Paris together to see One Direction and Courtney who is a girl I used to work with when I used to work in Debenham so we went for a lovely meal in Chelmsford and we went to a restaurant called Wildwood which was quite nice and now it is 25 past 3 and I'm on my way into London we're going to meet my friend Georgia who I work with we're going to go to Benefit Carnaby Street Boutique well I'm going to get my eyebrows done I don't know if Georgia will I've vlogged eyebrows before so there's a link to that below if you want to watch about the whole like getting your eyebrows done at Benefit tomorrow I'm working 10 till 7 that's it for tomorrow really so I don't think I'll probably vlog much tomorrow. Friday I think we're going to the cinema, me and two of the friends, Georgia and Louise, I think we're going to the cinema to see Pitch Perfect too because that's coming out. And then this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it's S Club 7 at the O2 and I'm going to both days. I think that might come across as quite sad to some of you but S Club 7 were like my life when I was a child. I was obsessed, I cried my eyes out for about two weeks when they broke up so I am pretty chuffed that they're going to be at the O2. The first day, the Saturday, I'm going with Georgia and we are sitting in the front row Oh my god. And the second day of the Sunday I'm going with Chelsea. That is what's happening. I don't know if this will go well or if it will be interesting, but you don't know unless you try. That is all for now. Let's see how this goes. And if it's boring, I am very sorry. Lovely. We obviously have been to Benefit and they've done our brows for us. I got Georgia to get hers done as well, which I'm chuffed with because I didn't think she'd get hers done. We're gonna go for dinner, but we literally don't know what we want. <laughs> Witness the world's worst street performer. You get some great street performers, and we were like all excited to watch these dancers thinking it's gonna be like Twinkle Britain's Got Talent, like the new diversity, it was possibly the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I could have done better than that. And he had a YouTube top on that was like, subscribe to my channel, and I was like, I need one of them. We've just bought tickets to go and see Wicked in like an hour. A bit of spontaneity so for a Wednesday evening. And I've never seen Wicked on the stalls, so we've gone for Wicked seats in the stalls. Very excited. Now we're going to get some seats. dinner. <laughs> wicked seats at Wicked. And now we're going to find a quick meal and then head to Wicked. Can't wait, I love Wicked. Don't judge me, but I've got everything. I haven't eaten all day, so I've got a large meal and lots of other dippers and a cheeseburger. Please don't judge me. The first half, really, really good. Both the uh, females, the Alphabets and the Glinders are understudies tonight, but they're so good still. And it's really good, as always. I'm really excited for the second half. I just kind of wish they'd just keep doing Defying Gravity on repeat, because I really enjoy Defying Gravity a lot. Just got in from London, it's like, 11 o'clock I think ish roughly. I'm having to speak really quietly because my nan is asleep. This is probably not the most flattering angle. I had such a good time at Wicked. It's such a good show. Tonight was actually my third time seeing it and actually second time this year. I loved the uh, whole spontaneity of just like, shall we go to Wicked? Yeah, let's go to Wicked. got work tomorrow, so I don't think I'll be vlogging much tomorrow. I would try and vlog in the morning, but I am awful in the morning. Leave everything to the last minute, and even if I allow myself loads of time, I still get there, like, just on time. See what I get up to when I get in, but I imagine it'll just be food, maybe some vlogging, and bed, because I'll be tired. But yeah, I've had such a good day today. I'm going to take my eyebrows off now, let my makeup off, and see what my eyebrows look like without everything filled in. I'm so excited to see them. I love it when they're freshly tinted and waxed the best feeling. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Thursday, it's 9.40 in the morning, I'm up, I'm ready to go to work, I'm just waiting for the bus. I feel really tired today, I didn't sleep that well last night. It's raining, it's not like yesterday in London where it was warm and sunny. I'm just thinking one more day and I have like fun Friday, Saturday and I have got work again on Sunday. I haven't had any breakfast, I never eat breakfast, so I'm awful. I've had some orange juice. When I get home from work it'll be about quarter past seven and I've got to try and get a vlog up for tomorrow, which is from Disney on Ice. I've got like an hour and a half's footage for that, so 
It's gonna take me a long time to edit that. Well, that's it really, so I'm off to work. It's 7.23 and I'm already in my dressing gown. I've just gone from work. I had to wait ages for a bus to come home. It's pouring down with rain. I am so cold from being wet. Like if you could feel my hands now, they're like ice. It's just so weird because it was just the most beautiful day yesterday in London. That is England for you. That is the British weather. I need to edit my video. I need to eat, I'm starving. I had crisps and a muffin for lunch so I'm really hungry. I'm gonna make stir fry I think and when I say stir fry I mean like my version of stir fry which is basically chicken and noodles and that is it. I don't really like vegetables I'm really bad and I can't be bothered to put vegetables in it because it's raining all day the shop I work in like no one's obviously gonna come to it because we're not like in a mall I was gonna say what's like shopping center is the English word we're like just in a high street so you're not gonna come to the town if it's raining. That is the field where I live and it's just so Gray. Let's go and make Ellie's version of stir fry. So this is literally my dinner. There's a distinct lack of vegetables though. I've got to cook this, and then cook this, and then add this, and like mix it all together. And here's Bertie. The sauce, mix it all together. I don't think I've cooked it properly. I'm that bad at cooking, but we'll see. Ooh. There we have the world's most unhealthy, unappetising looking stir fry, but it does actually taste delicious. I'm gonna go and watch Friends and eat this. 10 to 11, and I'm still editing my Disney on ice floor. I've been going for about two hours, three hours maybe. I've got it down to 44 minutes at the moment. I don't think anyone would watch a video more than 20 minutes long of this kind of thing. This is my new phone case. It's my first non-Disney one in a while. But look at it, all the glitter. So much to get through. One in the morning. I just took my makeup off and then realised I hadn't ended the vlog. Do not judge my face. I know it's bad. I've been working on the vlog for Disney on Ice all night and I've got it down to like 24 minutes maybe. I think I need to make it a little bit shorter. I don't know if I'll do that now or in the morning because I'm really, really tired. That is Thursday over and done with. I'll see you not bright and early. It's Friday the 15th of May and I have Matt to go and walk the dog. He's like desperate for a walk. I'm going to the cinema to go and see Pitch Perfect 2. I'm very excited. I haven't seen Pitch Perfect 1 in a long time but I'm looking forward to seeing Pitch Perfect 2. I hope it's going to be good. I think it should be quite funny. I'm going with Georgia and my friend Louise. We all work together. Still not that nice outside but at least it's not raining. And then uh, headed to the town to go to the cinema. The Lion King! Wreck it Ralph! Beauty and the Beast! Frozen! Toy Story, let's go see Pitch Perfect 2. I liked it, it was good. I wouldn't say it's as good as the first one. I love Fat Amy, she's my favorite. Fat Amy does right, make yeah. the film. She, she's the best. She, she I, did, the I liked it, but I don't know if I like the new girl much. Yeah, that's she the thing, there's a new weird. character that's kind of like <laughs> a big part of it. And if you don't like her, you probably aren't gonna relate to it as much but it was really good i love anna kendrick though so it just kind of reinstalled my girl crush for her now we're at zizzy's and i think we're gonna have a three course meal food's here that's <laughs> so i've got for the starters here Ga garlic bread with mozzarella and balsamic onions i'm quite happy about it looks good and the other two have got rice balls <laughs> what is this called Kale kaka Cascarita Polo Bacanti, which is just like pasta with stuff. Good. Looks good. I would like some cheese though. Yeah. Okay. There's a slightly disappointing melt in the middle. Like there isn't really any. But I'm sure it'll be good. I'm home now from our day out, and this is probably not a flattering angle once again, but I just wanted to lay down. I'm tired. We were talking on the bus on the way home about how like we're 20 or like around 20 years old and we're going home on the Friday night to like all put pyjamas on and watch Netflix and have like bubble baths and stuff and not going out on the town like most people our age do. The film was good, I think I said earlier it wasn't, I don't think it was as good as the first one, I think because there's so much hype around it now. We had a nice meal in Zizzy's, I ate far too much, it was cheaper to get three courses, been eating so much food lately. That is my day pretty much done now, just gonna watch YouTube videos and once upon a time on Netflix. I really should do blog posts because I'm so busy tomorrow and Sunday and Monday and then I've got like two days off now next week and then I'm working like every day for a long time. Do some scheduling but I feel like I'm probably just going to watch Netflix 
and have a bath and a face mask and all that stuff. My nan's out with the dog, they've gone to my auntie's house, so I've got the house to myself, which is quite nice. I might even listen to my S Club 7 playlist in preparation for tomorrow. When they announce the tour, I could not for the life of me get tickets for the Saturday, the first day. They sold out straight away and I was literally heartbroken. They added the Sunday, which I got tickets for to go with Chelsea. My friend who used to work at the box office at the O2, she couldn't go with the tickets she got on the Saturday, so she asked if I wanted them and they're in the front row. So I was like, yes please, because she got them discounted so they're really cheap for front row. No way am I turning that down. So tomorrow I'm going with Georgia and I'm so excited. I can't even believe it's happening yet. I'm really looking forward to that. So I think I'm just gonna have a chilled evening. My Disney on Ice vlog went up when I was out, so if you haven't watched that, it's in the description box for you. I think I'm gonna sign off for Friday because nothing else is gonna happen. I'm just gonna be pretty much laying here all night. So I will see you tomorrow Saturday 16th. I haven't vlogged all day today because I've just been getting ready. Probably the most excited I've ever been to a concert. Georgia, she's over there. We're both so excited. I'm sitting in the front row. I mean, what the hell? I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. I am so excited. I can't say anything else apart from I am so excited. We are in Byron. He's having like Moments. I've ordered so much food, I think I scared the waiter, she's excited as well, she's pretending to take a picture of me so that um, it doesn't look like I'm filming myself. We over ordered a little bit, so I've got the cheeseburger with the American cheese, the skin on chips are my favourite, mac and cheese, hungry rings, so we've just got the healthier option. We're in our seat. We're in the front row. We this front this row. is our view. We are front row. Like there is there is no one here. I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, There's everyone behind us.
throat is really hurting because I don't think I've ever screamed and danced and sung like that in my life. It was literally like reliving my childhood. I could not have had a better seat. It was amazing. It was so surreal and just incredible. And they, I was really worried that they weren't going to be very good, but they really were amazing. And there was a couple of bits where some of them mimed, but I would say 80% of it was live. And it was just so weird being that close and being at the front. It was absolutely incredible. I loved it. I got really emotional at one point and it's really hard to explain, but S Club 7 were kind of like a really big part of my life when they were around the first time. They remind me of a time when my parents hadn't split up, my granddad was still alive and obviously my mum was still alive and everything was kind of really good in my life. We all used to go and see S Club 7 together and we used to sing S Club and Reach is kind of one of my mum's songs so it was quite moving for me at certain points. Chelsea was there as well, she ended up getting a last minute ticket with her sister who was in a box so I could see her like near me and we were like dancing with each other. It's just so weird being in the front row and being on the screens all the time and I need to go to sleep because I've got work in the morning and then after work I'm going back for round two. <laughs> but yes, it was an incredible evening. I really, really loved it and now I need to go and rest. So it's Sunday today and I haven't come today because I've been at work but I'm back at the O2 for S Club 7 day 2. I'm with Chelsea. Hello everybody. We both watched last night and it was amazing and now we're having a Chinese buffet which is the best decision ever and we're going to eat it all. I'm so sorry how badly I've eaten this week but I'm very very excited. I can't really believe that we're going to watch it again but I'm going to love it because it was so good last night but now we're going to eat this food. It's about to start. Very exciting. I'm so happy I got to do it We honestly had the best time, it was so much fun. I don't think fun. I've ever laughed, sang, danced so hard in my life. So I just got in from S Club 7, take 
to. I feel like I'm just going to repeat everything I said yesterday, like for the Saturday show, but I had such a fun time. It was actually really good to go again and not be, like I loved the front row more than anything. It was really nice to go and sit like where I would not probably normally sit and be like in the crowd and watch it further back and see everything and see the arena dancing because when I sat in the front row I was like completely unaware of what was happening behind me. I also met a really really lovely subscriber at S Club 7 called Megan and I'd been like sending her snapchats because she said she wanted to come and say hi and she was so lovely and it just made my day to see her there and get a picture and everything so that was a really really lovely thing as well. I've got a lipstick mark from Chelsea here by the way <laughs> in case you're wondering but I've had such a brilliant week. I hope you've enjoyed the weekly mashup. I don't know how long it's going to be, it's probably a long vlog, so if you've made it this far, well done. really wanted to share like my fun week with you. Next week it's back to work pretty much five days a week onwards, so it was nice to have a more chilled, fun week doing things with my friend. Thank you so much for watching, please like, subscribe and comment, all that stuff, and I'll see you very soon. Lots of love, bye!